Hi, fifth grade. Welcome to lesson number eight. So I have a really short, quick lesson for you today. And then later on, you're going to be using those melodic building blocks that we explored last time to write your own song. So again, today, you're going to need those six objects and two sticks. So again, I'm going to use my cups, just something super simple. It can be blocks. It can be whatever you got at home and two stick like things. I'm going to use my mallets today so that you can see a little bit better what I'm doing. So the first thing we're going to do today is a little bit of movement. I'm wondering if you remember how to do this one. So this is a dance that we learned just with our hands, and then we're going to transfer it into our feet today as well. So let's review it a little bit. Turn on the music. Oh, sorry. Let me start that over again. I bend you down. Follow me. Hey, so remember in that, sorry, remember in that other part where we're doing the rhythm, you get to decide where you play those four patterns. It could be uh, in claps, snaps, or pats, or any combination of the bunch. So this time, I'm not going to do that part because I want you to make it up on your own, but I'll do the rest with you, okay? All right, here we go. Boop. And go. Where you gonna put them? And a Here we go again. All right, so my friends, here's your choice. You can either do this next part still sitting down just the way we just did it, or you can do it standing up with me now because we're going to add one more thing to it that might make it a little bit more interesting. So come on up with me, or you can stay sitting down. Either way is fine. So you're going to face me. Now you're going to jump and face that direction. Now you're going to jump and face the other way. And now jump and face this way. And now jump and face me again. So I'm going to add that in somewhere in my song. So be watching. Ah, but you know what? You need to be able to see my feet too. So I'm going to scoot you way back here so that you can see my head and my feet and everything I'm doing. Ha, ah, there you go. Got the whole thing. Start with my left foot. Here it goes. Side 
excellent work. All right, we'll stop there for today. But hey, if you want to do more, just go ahead and do more on your own. That's totally okay. All right, so we're going to go back to our little building blocks here. Where's a good spot for my head? I'm right there. We're going to go back to our building blocks. Remember, we had five that we practiced last time that you guys did on your virtual xylophone for me. And we're going to take those, and hmm, what do I want to do first? I think what I want to do is just explore through them again with our five objects. So again, we're going to be in C pentatonic, which means I have my groups of threes and twos. So I'm going to take my objects again, and I'm going to go one, two, oops, three in a row, empty space, one, two, and then one all by itself for that high dough, right? So I've got my five objects, and we're just going to go ahead and tap them. Be my echo. Do, re, mi, so. So, la, so, la. Do, so, la, so. Mi, re, do, do, do. Do, do, re, re, mi, so, so. So, la, do, so, la, do. Do, do, so, so, so. Mi, re, do, 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 do. All right. So, let's go back to our building blocks. There they are right there. And we're just going to play them through um, together. So I'll sing and then you can copy me again. Here I go. Do, so, la, so. You know, and since you don't have an actual xylophone at home, singing is really going to help you with this little game that we're playing. Do, so, la, so. How about the yellow one? Do, do, la, so. And the pink one. Do, re, mi, so. And then how about the purple one? Mi, so, la, so. And the orange one. So, la, do, do. Excellent. So I'm going to trade these out for my real xylophone. So you can hear what it's supposed to sound like. I would like you to pick one of those objects, one of those patterns to do. And I want you to play that idea four times in a row, okay? So I'm not gonna be able to play along with you because you've chosen your own idea to play. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the drum and help you keep track of those. So you're gonna play your idea four times in a row, okay? helping you become an expert at one idea. So try that one more time. Your block, four times in a row, and it's just a simple quarter note pulse. Ready? And off you go. Bum, bum. Excellent. So let's make an ending out of in here as well. So you're going to take the block that you were just practicing but you're only going to do it three times. At the end, you're going to play Mi, Re, Do. For example, the one I chose was the green one. So I'm going to go Do, So, La, So. Do, So, La, So. Do, So, La, So. Mi, Re, Do. And make an ending out of that. All right? So practice that with your objects. We'll do it two times practice, and then I'll tell you what you're going to do with this rough draft that you're creating. Here you go. And then the last one. All right, you got it now? Let's try it one more time. Pick your block. And here you go. So now, my friends, you are also going to need, I forgot to tell you this at the beginning, you're going to need something to write on, like a 
whiteboard or a paper pencil, crayon marker, whatever you want. So go get that right now, pause the video, and get something to write with. Okay, you're back. So I'm gonna grab my thing to write with. And I'm just gonna make my four boxes on my board, like so, just like that. All right, and then I'm gonna take my block that I chose, mine was the green one, so I'm gonna go and write that in my first box. All right, do, so, la, so. Super easy, I have one letter for every number. And I also need a stick above each one for stick notation. And I'm gonna make your life super easy right now because you're gonna do that three times in a row. Do, so, la, so, or whatever you chose for your first box. Put it here, then put it here. For your last box, you're gonna put in me, re, do, just there, okay? So by the end, you should have all four boxes filled up, and it should be A, 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 B. Once you've got that, I want you to practice it on your instrument. Okay, so pause it right now and write it all down. When you're ready, unpause. Hey, thanks, you're back. So now take this and put it somewhere where you can see it in front of or next to your five objects. And I want you to play your song that you wrote down. Okay, just tapping your objects, singing along, because that'll help you hear what's going on. One, uh, and here you go. So that's what you're going to do in Seesaw for me. You are going to take a picture of your song so that I can see what you wrote. And then I want you to use that xylophone, that virtual xylophone, to play your song for me. Super simple, super easy. Uh, this is kind of step two now in our process of writing this song that we're going to write each of us. So go ahead and do that on Seesaw. If you ever have any questions, please contact me, send me an email, send me a message on Seesaw, send me a message on Google Classroom. I would love to hear from you if you're having trouble with something so that I can make it easier for you. All right, friends, have a good week, and I'll see you next week. Bye.